The Russians had been through bad times so they could cope. And Americans have been taught everything's just wonderful and the government will take care of you. And, and the problem is Americans are not prepared and they should be prepared. I mean, literally to the point of having fuel at the car, excess cash and food for six months or a year. We are going to go through an exceptionally dangerous time because most Americans are not prepared. You've been warned. There, there are some brilliant people talking about economic collapse coming, and, and people need to learn and they need to listen. Popular American Marine, naval aviator, and financial author Bob Moriarty has issued a dire warning for Americans amidst the country's many economic challenges and increasing threats to the dollar's dominance as the world's reserve currency. According to Bob, who founded 321gold.com with his wife Barbara in 2001 to educate readers about investing in resource stock, Americans have been taught to always expect the Federal Reserve to leap to the rescue whenever there is a small hitch in the economy. Now, Bob believes the U.S. economy is facing the biggest of hitches, which he says will be far worse than the Great Depression of 1929. As a result, there's little evidence to suggest that the Fed will be willing to come to the market's rescue or that their meddling will be effective this time. During a recent discussion with Liberty and Finance host Elijah Johnson, Bob also discusses the possibility of a nuclear war. He explains that the United States and NATO are clearly losing the war in Ukraine and are getting a lot of flack for that. Being the generally sore losers they are, Bob believes they may be pushed to do something drastic and stupid and eventually lead us into a nuclear war with Russia. Weapons that could destroy cities in seconds and continue to impact generations to come due to their long-term health consequences are no joke. Yet most Americans are either not concerned or not taking adequate measures to protect themselves from what is coming. According to the renowned finance writer and veteran investor, people need to take these warnings seriously to prepare for what he believes will be the biggest collapse in his lifetime. We will now bring you clips from the interview as Bob also discusses how he expects silver to perform during a recession. Please watch the video to the end, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Also, ensure you like this video and check out our other videos featuring some of the industry's most respected personalities. Thanks for your support and enjoy the video. We've discussed that at length several times and nothing has changed other than the fact that a lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that the Fed has mousetrapped itself. When you go to 0% interest, effectively you're giving money away and people do some very foolish things. And then when you raise rates, okay, the people who invest in really safe things like 30-year bonds look at the value of the bonds and realize they're down 30, 40, uh, 50 percent in some cases. So it doesn't show up until they raise rates. However, the damage is done when they lower the rates. And the IMF that's come out, now I can't tell you whether it's accurate or not. I'm not a big believer in the official narrative, but the IMF has said they're going to have to hold rates at five and a quarter to five and a half percent through the end of 2024. And in simple terms, that is absolutely catastrophic. Now, as of last fall, the British uh, gilts, their highest rated government bonds, had lost 53% and interest rates in the UK have gone back to what they were then. So there's some just really scary things. And regardless of what Jamie Dimon says and Janet Yellen and Powell says, uh, we're, we're in the eye of a hurricane. What we've got, I, I believe, is going to be far worse than 1929. Now, at the time of Germany reuniting East Germany and West Germany, I, I think that was 1989 or 1990, that literally helped create the, the crash in the Soviet Union. And as the Soviet Union burst apart into pieces. The Russians had been through 
bad times so they could cope. And Americans have been taught everything's just wonderful and the government will take care of you. The banks are in the most dangerous position they've been in going back to 1931 and 1932. It's an exceptionally dangerous period of time and it's going to affect everyone. And the question about the depression, we are not going to go into a depression. We're in a depression now that people don't realize. The stock market is an accident waiting to happen. Now, I got out of the Marine Corps in, in early 1970, and I had some cash, and everybody was telling me, you got to invest in the stock market. And there was something called the Nifty 50. And this was Avon and it and and at and and Ling Tempco Vaught. Uh, and these were the favorite stocks. And if you looked at the overall stock market, you realized the overall stock market had been tanking for years, but the Nifty 50 were doing just fine. And then in early 1970, they cratered. And of course, the market went into a crash and lasted for 17 years. There are seven stocks holding the Dow and the S&P up today. When those seven stocks go, people are going to realize the stock market's an uh, exceptionally dangerous place to be. But uh, we're going to have a situation where we're not only going to have a catastrophe financially, we're going to lose the, the benefit of the world's reserve currency. And Americans have no idea of how that's going to change things. But we're going to have hyperinflation in the United States, even if the rest of the world is doing just fine, because the value of the dollar is going to plummet. Now, whether that's next week or whether it's five years from now, I don't know. But I know the, the U.S. can lose its position as the world's reserve currency. Bob is not the only expert warning about the big trap the stock market has become. While investors are fixating on the big names like NVIDIA, Microsoft, Google, and Apple, many other sectors of the S&P 500 are performing poorly. This is why Bob believes we are already in a depression, a severe and prolonged downturn in economic activities. Yet the Federal Reserve and other policymakers are having a difficult time acknowledging that we are already in a recession and things are only going to go downhill from here. Do you think the U.S. economy is heading for a recession or depression or is already in one? Please drop your comments in the comments section while we bring you more clips from Bob Moriarty's interview with Liberty and Finance. Nobody knows this, but the, the Dow crash starting in October 1929, and by 1932, silver actually went down to 29 cents an ounce. They were giving silver away because there was no demand for silver whatsoever. It was so far under the cost of production that the United States government literally came out with a silver tax stamp that if you were going to sell silver in the United States from a mine, you had to have one of these tax stamps and the government would buy silver from you for $1.29. So in the depression of 1929 to 1937, the value of silver dropped. Uh, I, I believe, and it's just my opinion, that in relative terms, silver will go up compared to gold. I, I think silver and platinum are the cheapest metals right now. They're what I'm putting my money into. Uh, I, I I like silver, but it also attracts more flimflam artists than any other metal. There's a lot of silver bugs who are, who are literally not even a fruitcake. Okay, they're convinced silver is going to go to 500 bucks an ounce all by itself. And and the, the number one silver guru uh, was running around in in. Uh, the year 2000, saying that by December of 2000, there would be no more above ground silver available. And I wrote to him, and I said, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, that's crazy. We're not going to run out of silver. There's tons of silver around. And of course, he turned out to be dead wrong, and I turned out to be dead right. Uh, there have been 50 billion ounces of silver produced 
in world history. There is a lot of silver still around, but at 90 to one, it, it's relatively cheap uh, compared to gold. Now, I, I, I am uber bullish, but as far as picking points, I can't pick a point. If, if silver got down to 30 to one to gold, I would be selling silver and anything above 80 to one for silver. I'm a buyer of silver. Uh, silver is cheap. I don't ever pick price. Lots of people do, but there's lots of people smarter than me. Uh, I don't know how to pick price. I, I just think in relative terms, silver will go up compared to gold. It, it's important to understand that our government is in the hands of people who, who are nuttier than Fruit Loops. Okay, the, these people are goofy. They screw up everything they do. They're totally, absolutely clueless. The United States, if you go back to 1775, we have never been run by a bigger band of fools than we are today. And the one thing that you can guarantee is they're going to do a lot of stupid things. What they haven't taken into account of is there are 330 million Americans and there's 399 million guns. So they need to be very careful because they don't have the power that they believe they have. Bob believes silver is going to outperform gold as investors look for better alternatives for their money when the collapse hits. However, the veteran investor is not so fixated on price rallies and unrealistic targets. Bob is also asking Americans to prepare for what's coming for the U.S. economy, the dollar, and possibly even the rest of the world. However you choose to look at it, dangerous times lie ahead, and we must all be well equipped to successfully see ourselves through what's coming. What are your thoughts on Bob Moriarty's interview and his dire warnings for Americans? Please drop your comments and observations in the comments section below. Also, ensure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.